little Italy. It's so beautiful down here. I think I could sit here all day. Well, as tempted as it is, I want to take you to a beautiful place. All right, all right. <laughs> I do love little Italy, though. It has everything down here. It does. I love being here. First of all, it's so good to be out. And I love little Italy for the variety of restaurants and the lifestyle here is kind of different what people imagine San Diego to be. And it's great to walk around because no matter if it's winter or springtime, Little Italy is always beautiful, but right now especially with these beautiful trees and the blossoms. And speaking of blossoms, I'm at, we're actually gonna go to one of the most beautiful restaurants in San Diego, and we're gonna meet a very special person, Cesar Valley, the owner, and he's doing amazing things in these changing times. Sounds perfect. Let's go. We were here about a year ago in your restaurant. We both love it so much, and I've been so impressed with everything that you're doing with our new normal, and I was dying to introduce you to Tony. Awesome. Well, pleasure to meet you. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back. Obviously, as she mentioned, things are a little different, um, but we'd love to hear what you're doing now with all the changes that have occurred from COVID-19 and the pandemic. Yeah, definitely. So. You know, we adapted pretty quickly because we, we anticipated this happening back in February. So everybody was like, wow, you pivoted so quickly, but we had already in our heads said, okay, if this happens, how are we gonna survive? And so we had started second week of February, we shut down on March 16th, on March 17th, we were already open. And every day it was sitting down, these, these items weren't never here except for the two sushi items. And so every day we would sit down and say, what worked, what didn't work? What worked, what didn't work? Better containers, better sauces, better, what holds better? We removed things, we added things. And it took about two weeks, two weeks to really get it dialed in. And by the time we got our menu, the verbiage on it, there was all different kinds of stuff, inconsistencies. It took us like a full month. Wow. Well, I'm a testament because I drove from Carmel Valley to your restaurant <laughs> to get your uh, sushi platter. Platters, yeah. And it was delicious. You were able to maintain the quality. Yeah. And because your food is, has always been amazing. Thank you. And it was really important for us to be able to put things on the menu that carried well. And it took a lot of time and a lot of honest conversations with Chef and myself. You know, I wanted certain things and Chef's like, hey, listen, this isn't going to carry well. I was like, to. damn it. You know, and so... And, and vice versa. Hey, chef, I don't think this is going to work. And so there was just that vulnerable conversation with each other and said, what's, what's our main goal here? Is to provide something that an experience still that customers were experiencing here, you know, quality wise, and they could still experience it at home. And so it took time and, you know, we're, we're not done yet. You know, we're continuing to sharpen, sharpen, the, sharpen the blade. That's amazing. And are you guys offering, uh, I know a lot of restaurants are doing like the cocktails to go and things like that. We started doing cocktails to go. We picked four of our top sellers and then we got sake cups and sake bottles stuff that we didn't have on the menu again and you know cans of beer and we started doing beers to go as well and so that that's actually helped out significantly well one of the things that i've been very inspired by you is the even in uncertainty that we are living right now we found a way also to give back to the community it, it this wasn't about money listen you know Doing $1,500 a day in sales is not going to keep the lights on here for long-term purposes. But what we did have control is how we were going to respond and how we were going to be in service to the community, not just frontline workers, but the locals. And so we dropped our prices, and then we teamed up with companies like Frontline Foods, who is a nonprofit. You can make donations, and then they pick out restaurants, and they serve, you know, I think we've, we've done almost 1,000 meals with a combined of uh, a company called Peace Out, In Kind, and Frontline Foods. It's been cool to show up to these places with an LED truck that says, you know, Rady's Children's Hospital, you're the real MVP, or Scripps Mercy, you know, thank you so much, you know, we appreciate you. And every, every bento box that they get, there's a complimentary sushi roll from us. That, you know, they, there's no gimmick, you could literally come in and you could order it, you know, just as, as a thank you to everybody that's, that's, that's keeping us safe and healthy. Yeah, it's been it's it's been a great opportunity to uh, adopt new values and you know reprioritize what's going on in our business and what's working and what's not working because at the end of the day this is this is going to be like this for a while. This I isn't so going to change too. in a year, uh, three, yeah. thirty days or sixty days or ninety days. This is unfortunately this is going to be 
the new normal. The new normal for and us, so yeah. And so how are you going to show up and how are you going to adapt is, is going to be your question and you get to decide how you do that. You mentioned to us that you predict this in, back in February. How did you work your mindset to just adapt so quickly? Well, I surround myself around people that challenge me every day. I mean, I have spent hours a week, but I, I have a, a performance coach. He has a company called Backup CEO, and that's exactly what he does. And what his job is, is to prepare you for the obstacles that are going to come out, you know, or that could possibly come out. So, you know, a lot of coaching, a lot of what's this obstacle, what's this strategy? What's this obstacle, what's this strategy? What's the outcome that you would like to create? And so, you know, there's only so much you're in control of in those yes. moments, right? And one of those is how you respond. Yes. You know, so although we didn't have answers to a lot of these things, nobody did. You went from 500 people to hang out with to 250 to 50 in like four days, right? And the way we were able to do that was by asking ourselves powerful questions. You know, how could we pivot the business and adapt to this entire, you know, circumstance? And so. You know, I, I've always believed and I was, I was coached on there's a victimhood and then there's a responsible version. And so we, we chose to constantly stay in responsibility, stay in responsibility. It's so easy to go into victimhood yes. and to say this isn't going to work out or the government or this. But, you know, it was really just applying that endurance sports mentality of, you know, Ironmans and long distance running and saying, this is how I'm gonna face this. I welcome this challenge, I'm here, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna run towards it, rather than run away and make excuses as why we can't do something. Times like this does, does bring opportunities, it's just how you respond to, and I think you, yeah, it's like I keep saying, you're inspiring the way you respond to, and it truly is. So with your mindset, do you have any predictions for the future, or how are you guys changing right now? What are you instilling? Just continue to ask yourself, what could you do better? What could you do to improve? The staff is number one, yes. and, and customers are number two. Yes. You know, and from there, you know, we, we just adapt and we move in whatever direction that that, that that comes. Well, you've done a fantastic job, Champions for Change, and I know, regardless of how your food is served, whether it's in front of you on a table or in a box, it brings a smile to it's everyone's delicious. face. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. So, yes, I can't <laughs> thank you enough for being the inspiration of everything that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, too. We can't wait to come back. Likewise. <laughs> we'll be here waiting.